Australia's Trade Minister has returned from talks in Beijing with no significant progress over China's trade bans on the local products. Despite the breakthrough announcement, Don Farrell, along with affected farmers and industries, remain cautiously optimistic. A man on a mission to bring good news to Australian producers. Welcome to the Minister of Commerce. Trade Minister Don Farrell sitting down with his Chinese counterpart in Beijing. We had a very warm and uh, constructive and I have to say uh, candid uh, meeting. The pair agreeing to step up talks but Beijing making no concessions to remove billions of dollars in restrictions on Australian goods. What exactly uh, are you going home with apart from um, some goodwill? It was the first step um, uh, along the way of a pathway of resetting the relationship. The signs of a breakthrough were positive, but the Trade Minister insists issues won't be solved overnight. More work needs to be done. Talk is good, dialogue is good, I compliment him on that, but look, I think it's disappointing. I think it's been a disappointing couple of days. For cattle farmer Robert McKenzie, the sanctions are devastating. China's his biggest market. He's hopeful it'll reopen soon. I'm very positive, I'm happy. I didn't expect any more. Um, it's a long road. The wine industry also considers talks a success. There is that optimism, but it is a tempered, cautious optimism. Uh, we know that there is a long way to go in terms of uh, the dialogue that we need to see. I think it's the outcome we should have expected. Uh, I didn't expect the Chinese to suddenly make any major concessions. In a more positive sign, relations are improving. China's foreign minister could visit Australia later this year. But with no timeline for removing crippling sanctions, the Trade Minister has his work cut out. My job is to keep the process going, um, to keep the pressure on to resolve it.